So now we are going to see the arrhythmias in acute coronary syndrome. So whenever you have an arrhythmia in an acute coronary syndrome, be it ST elevation ACS or non-ST elevation ACS, there is lot of confusion. First thing is we have to see whether the patient is hemodynamically stable or not. Second, whether it is early arrhythmia which is less than 48 hours old or late arrhythmia which is more than 48 hours after the arrhythmia occurring after 48 hours. In late itself, it can be early late or late late. If the arrhythmia occurs after 48 hours, less than 40 days, it is called early late. And if it's going to occur after 40 days, it is called late late arrhythmia due to myocardial infarction. Ventricular or supraventricular arrhythmia. Whether basic acute coronary syndrome is ST elevation or non-ST elevation. Whether it is occurring before reperfusion or after reperfusion. And what is the site of MI, anterior MI or infraposterior MI? What is the mechanism of arrhythmia, re-entry arrhythmia or automatic arrhythmia? Or whether it is a scar induced arrhythmia or ischemia driven arrhythmia? Whether what will be the basic structural heart disease, whether its LV dysfunction is there or heart failure is there or in the presence of normal LV function, patient is having arrhythmia. So all this this information is necessary to appropriately manage, appropriate diagnose first and manage the arrhythmias in acute coronary syndrome. So, because of this huge uh, classification confusion, I thought we'll remember just four Ds and uh, this is devised uh, our own, so don't ask any reference here. So, D for diagnostic arrhythmias, next D for dangerous arrhythmias, Next, D for difficult arrhythmias. And fourth is don't do anything arrhythmias. So, we will classify arrhythmias in acute coronary syndrome in these four Ds and look at the ECGs and management in each one of these four segments. First, we look at diagnostic arrhythmias. What arrhythmias will tell you patient has got acute coronary syndrome? So, these are diagnostic arrhythmias. So, this you see ECG, this is a classical polymorphic ventricular tachycardia. This is a polymorphic ventricular tachycardia because it's a white QRS irregular tachycardia with varying shape of the QRS and varying width of the QRS. So, this is a polymorphic ventricular tachycardia. So, but it is not torsidy pointus. Please remember polymorphic tachycardia can be torsidy pointus which usually occurs in the presence of long QT, whereas this type of polymorphic arrhythmia, tachycardia occurs in the presence of acute ischemia. So, this type of recurrent polymorphic VT is a classical or defining arrhythmia of an acute ischemia. 